For internships, organisations mostly call to make a verbal offer and if students accept, they have to formalise it by email or by agreement. However, misunderstandings often occur as organisations make the offer over the phone and this could lead to dispute if the students have indeed accepted the offer verbally. So students have to learn to manage their communication and close the communication with the organisations in writing, be it email or by signing a contract. Let me share with you a few scenarios where students have responded to the organisation's offers in the right manner. Hello, may I speak to Yu Ting, please? Yes, speaking. Hi, Yu Ting. This is Josie Kwan from SMEC Private Limited. Thanks for coming down for the interview yesterday. Are you interested in the finance internship position? I'm interested in the finance internship position. Am I clarify? Are you making me an offer for the internship role? Yes, we find you suitable and would like to offer you the finance internship position. Yes, I'm happy about internship offer. Um, if you that I have pending interviews, may I let you know my acceptance in one week's time? Sure, we will await your acceptance confirmation. Thank you for the opportunity. However, I've already accepted an offer that is aligned to my interests and career aspirations. No worries, we wish you all the best. In the next video, the organisations would view the student as accepting the offer when they have responded positively to the questions from the HR. Further, if the students have accepted another organisation's offer, the school as well as the HR would view the action as renewing the first offer. So students must learn to manage the communication clearly, be it in writing or verbally, especially for cases where they do not plan to accept the offers. Hello. Hello, may I speak to Kashin please? Yes, speaking. Hi Kashin, this is Jonesy calling from SMEC Private Limited. Thanks for coming down for the interview yesterday. Are you interested in the finance internship position? Yes, I'm interested. That's great. So when can you start work? Hmm, 31st July. Alright, we'll keep you posted on the administrative details. Sure, do let me know. As you can see, this communication occurs when the organisation interprets it as a yes by our students and this could lead to dispute if our students have indeed accepted the offer unintentionally.